Tethys is a locked on plate, and the Tethys visage just unlocked under the Quicksilver store. I think this is the eighth head available. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Seventh head available. Tethys. Um, you might remember that Tethys stands way over there by that window. Uh, a bit of a fish looking head, and they say when you first met them, meet them, something about not being a geck in disguise, or maybe they're a geck in disguise, but they're wearing uh, geck armor. So I've always w wondered what's, what's up with them. So remember, for all of these heads, you need to be a traveler. So let's go to the head option, and since I've only bought a few heads, I don't have them all here. I would be up to like 16 or 17 if I'd bought them all. I believe Tethys is 11. So we have a couple of different face shapes here, three different markings, and eyes. Let's just do the eyes first because they're the easiest. Um, eye zero is the blue or, or sorry, the black orb as normal. Uh, eye one is a fairly human looking eye with a normal iris. Uh, marking two, eye two has a horizontal pupil. Eye three is a little bit like an android eye in that there's an a, a line through the iris, a horizontal line, and it has a dark color on top and a light color on the bottom. I5 is a vertical pupil, and sorry, I4 is a vertical pupil, and I5 is the bug eye one with, with, the, with the horizontal, sorry, vertical pupil. Okay, let's go up to face shapes. Face shape one is pretty wide and has very large eye orbs. Face two is almost identical except the orb is smaller and you can see a bit of the cavity that the eye sits in. Face 3, the eye orb is really large. Face 4, the face is shrunken a little bit and the eye cavity Face 5, wait, sorry. Face 5 is much smaller and the eye orb is pretty large. Face 6, the eye orb is very, very large, and the whole head is pretty big. And face 7, the head is pretty shrunken, it's a bit of an underbite, or an overbite, I guess that's an underbite. And the eye orb is very, very small. Let's go to 5, nope, let's go to 4, no, I want to find the biggest one, there we go. Face shape 3, so marking 0 is what we have here, marking 1. How did that change? Well, let's change the colors and, and see if, if, if we're getting something there. Okay, our primary color is blue. Our secondary color, which is the eye, let's set that as red, and let's set as green. Which, with marking zero, the accent color doesn't seem to have much, much, to much effect. If we set to markings one, there we go. Now that now the accent color is showing in the skin flaps between the head spines. So the primary color is the head, the secondary color is the eye, and the accent color is the skin flaps between the spines. With markings two, ah, interesting. So now the primary color is the stripes across the head. The secondary color is again the eye, and the accent color is the main head color. So brown, there's a red, sort of a teal. So let's make this fairly distinctive. I'm not looking for something that looks good, I just want to have something that you can really s tell what different colors are. Let's make the eyes blue. Okay, so our primary color is orange with the skin flaps and the stripes. Our eyes are blue with the secondary color and the accent color is green. Excellent. So now I wanna go look at the Tethys who's here on station so we can see what um, what Hello Games has this character looks like. I will be right back. So Tethys is over here in the teleporter room, the transporter room, over standing by this window. So the version that Hello Games has, has on Gek armor, the head is blue, 
the eye flaps are red and the eyes are green. So I wanted to take a look at the back of their head. It's because you can't really see that when you're over on the appearance modifier. So there are some spines back there, a couple of lumps, kind of where maybe the shoulder muscles hit hit the head. I kind of wish you could change the actual color of the spine and maybe the tongue. So there we go. That is the Tethys visage, uh, which you can buy for Quicksilver. Uh, it's available on PS4 right now. And PC. Uh, I think Xbox is at about 97%, so that should unlock today sometime as well. Today being Sunday, Sunday the 23rd. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and happy holidays.